fun! Today we're going to make a notebook on Lulu.com, so let's get started. To create a notebook or journal, we'll need two print ready PDFs. One for your interior file and one for the cover file. For the interior, Lulu has made it really easy by providing pre-formatted notebook interiors in a variety of sizes and styles. Navigate to the Publishing Toolkit under the Resources tab on Lulu.com. Scroll down to the Pre-formatted Interior Pages section. Here, you can choose from blank, lined, graph, and dot grid paper. Choose one of the notebook interior styles and click the Download button. This will download a folder containing print-ready PDFs in different trim sizes for that particular notebook style. That takes care of our interior file. Next, we'll need to create a cover. So as always, we recommend you work with a cover designer so that your end product turns out as professional as possible. But if that's not an option for you, you can use Lulu's Cover Creator tool within our publishing platform or use a free third-party resource such as Canva, which has a ton of really easily editable designs and layouts. For this demo, we're gonna create our cover in Adobe InDesign. The easiest way to do this is to use an InDesign template from Lulu's free design bundles. Underneath the pre-formatted interiors section, you'll see the design guide bundle section. Select your trim size, then click download. This will download a folder to your computer that contains a book creation guide PDF, interior and cover template files, and Adobe PDF job options. Now, let's open the cover templates folder to find the correct template. I want my notebook to be coil bound, so I'm going to open the coil folder. Lulu provides templates for Adobe InDesign and Adobe Photoshop, as well as PNG and PDF files to use in any design tool you choose. I'm going to use Adobe InDesign for my notebook, so I'll open that template. If you're using an older version of InDesign, we've included .idml files in this folder that will be compatible and work the same. Since I chose Coilbound for my project, you'll notice there's no spine on this template. So if you're going with a paperback or hardcover, be sure to adjust the spine width before proceeding. You can find your spine width by using the spine width calculator in the book creation guide or by using the price calculator on lulu.com. See our video on cover file preparation for more details on spine adjustment. You'll see there are two layers in the layers panel. One with the template guide, which we will turn off before exporting, and one for our artwork. Click on the layer that says your artwork to be sure we're working within that layer. For this demo, I'm going to use a cover that one of our designers created in Adobe Illustrator. So I'll import that file by clicking File, Place, and then I'll find my file and click Open. Click on the top left corner of the template to place the document. Since this cover was already designed at the correct size for our US Trade Notebook, it fits my template perfectly and no further editing is needed. Remember, be sure your cover extends to the outside trim and bleed area on all sides. The bleed area for a coil bound book cover is 1 4 of an inch past the trim edge on all four sides, making the total document size for this book 12.25 inches wide by 9.25 inches tall. Now we're ready to create our cover PDF. In the Layers panel, be sure that the Template Guides layer is turned off by clicking the eye next to the layer. You should only be able to see your artwork in your document. Next, we need to make sure the transparencies in our document are flattened and our fonts are outlined when we output our print-ready PDF. We'll do this by clicking Edit, Transparency Flattener Presets. Click Load, then locate the Lulu High Res Outlines.flst file within the templates folder we downloaded from lulu.com. This can be found within the Adobe PDF Job Options folder under Transparency Flattener Preset. Click Open. Click on the Lulu High Res Outlines option within the Presets window, then click OK. Now we'll load the Lulu PDF export preset to ensure our settings are correct when saving the file. Click on File, Adobe PDF Presets, Define. Click Load, 
Then locate the Lulu Cover Print PDF job options file within the same Adobe PDF job options folder where we found the flattener preset. Click open. Be sure the new Lulu preset is highlighted in the presets window and click done. Now we can export our PDF. Our final result will be a one page PDF spread of our back cover, spine, if it were a paperback or hardcover, and front cover with bleed included. Click File, Adobe PDF Preset, Lulu Cover Print PDF. Name your file and choose where you want to save your PDF. Click Save. In the Export Adobe PDF window, make sure All Pages, Export as Spreads, and Use Document Bleed Settings are all selected. Click Export. And now we're ready to print. We've got a PDF file for our interior and our cover, and now we just need to jump back into Lulu's publishing platform to finish up. Head to lulu.com, click the Create tab, then click Start Your Book. Log into your account or sign up for one if you haven't yet. Select Print Book for the product type, then select a goal. I just want to print my notebook, so I'll choose Print Your Book. Note that if you want to sell your book, you would choose Publish Your Book. Enter a project title under Book Details and choose a book language and category if you want. Upload your interior file by clicking Upload Your PDF or by dragging and dropping it in the window. Choose your book size, interior color, paper type, book binding, and cover finish. Remember, this must match the specifications you use for your interior and cover files to ensure that your book prints correctly. Next, we'll choose Upload a Cover, since we already have one designed. Click Upload your PDF or drag and drop your cover file into the window. Next, review the margins, bleed, and fold areas to ensure your book will print correctly in the Preview section. Click through the pages to check out the interior as well. Then, click Review Your Book. On the next page, you'll see a summary of your book specifications and a preview of your cover. If everything is correct, check Confirm Book Specifications. You can also download your print-ready files to keep on hand. Click Add to Cart. And that's it! You can now go ahead and purchase your book, and soon you'll have your very own notebook in hand. Congratulations!